So we're back, and once again, my PC sounds like a Dyson hand dryer, which usually means that we're playing Garden Warfare 2 mods. I want to play another boss today. Oh my gosh, Wolfie. All you ever do is play with bosses. Yeah, well, there's a lot of bosses. I want to play a boss today, which is kind of interesting, because I actually think this should have been a playable character, in my opinion. I'm talking about Gargantua, who is a little bit too big for the screen, but he has an innie. Just in case you ever wondered. You wouldn't like Gargantua when he's angry. I mean, he's already green, so... Yeah, I think Gargantua should have been a playable character. Like, properly. It's not that I don't like Hovergo. I really like Hovergo. I just think, you know, you put Torchwood in the game. Gargantua is kind of the direct counterpart to Torchwood. So, I, look, to me, it makes sense. I think, personally, Gargantua should have been in the game. But then what do I know? So I thought we'd play a bit of Gargantua. I forget he has a little imp on his back, doesn't he? So we're playing Gargantua, a.k.a. Led and Nick from Outlast 2, a.k.a. Ferator. Also, I love how he keeps the imp in a little dustbin. So, Gargantua Slam. Okay, I did like 60. Take a hot minute to kill this weed, though. There you go. Uh, he doesn't have a secondary fire. So, Gargantua Imp. Oh, <laughs> Just propel him straight out of the bin like a little cannonball. Okay. You're not seriously telling me that did 11 damage. It's, God, this character's so basic. Like, he doesn't really... RB? Oh, God. Oh, it's a, it's another attack dummy. We're just going to work from now on under the assumption that if a character has an attack dummy, it does nothing. But the Gargantua is so basic. Like, he really doesn't do that much, does he? Okay. I held Fords. Oh, this Power Flower's dying. Not a mist. Ugh. You, okay, I blew the missile up and everything, and it still didn't kill him. I'm really not getting much of a gauge for how much damage that does. I keep seeing 10. Like, it doesn't do 10, surely. Let's go and try him in a game. Which, you know what? Since I never did get to play my Suburbanation on Frontline Flats, we'll do that. We'll go against... We'll go against Future Fighters again. That was a nice little blend. Uh, we're having a bit of trouble... You're really telling me I can't even get his fat ass in the port? Okay, sorry, Gargantua. We're going to have to switch. He's actually too thick. Also, do me a favor. If you're enjoying the mod series, then make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I upload every single day. I'm a professional idiot. And one of these days, I'm genuinely going to go to the toilet, wash my hands, come back, and hold them in front of my PC. It is that fucking loud. It's just a mod. All right, Gargantua. And see, this is a thing as well. There's three different Gargantuas. Got Gargantua, Giga Gargantua, and Captain Smash. You know, they call me Captain Smasher sometimes. No, they fucking don't. Right, can we not break the game this time? Please tell me he can at least... Okay, good. He can at least capture points. I'm not going to have a, a similar situation to that one Vanquish Confirm game. Which boss was I even playing? That was Super Beam, wasn't it? Fucking couldn't even confirm any kills. Okay, I got a hit marker and it did no damage. Ugh. Alright, they're all sort of... What on earth did he just do? Like the way the whole screen shakes uncontrollably with every step I take. He's that thick. Oh, hold on. Oh, I just got ganged up on by like their entire team. Uh... I mean, I've heard of the whole, like, when you die, your body still twitches a little bit sometimes. That's not exactly what I would call twitching. Right, this armor chomper is dying. 50. 50. 50. Come on! Yes! Got a kill! Dude, what the fuck? What do you mean the imp hunt didn't come out? What is with his corpse? What are you doing? Oh, it's like someone killed him and then shoved a vibrator up his ass. That's not normal. Oh, could you imagine if that killed? Alright, this guy needs to fucking die. I, do, I can't get anything done. My kill. Yeah. <laughs> I love how it's always the same armor chomper that I kill every time. Night, right, there we go. Later C5000, mate. That's payback. Okay, well, this bin is literally indestructible. <laughs> mate, get in the bin. No pun intended. Hey, we got Suburbanation. Yeah, go on. Borrow me. Try it. I dare you. You think you're going to fit this ass in your mouth? I fucking don't think so, somehow. I don't get it. Like, was he playing dead? Maybe that's like a sort of teabag defense system. Squat over his head to try and hit a taco touchdown. And then just sends one straight up into Mordor. Really cannot tell. I sent him flying that far. You're dead. 
Oh, one damage. Great. Do you know what? It doesn't matter how many times I see it, it doesn't get any less weird. And it just suddenly grows at the end of it. Was this some kind of really fucked up Pokemon evolution? <laughs> Trampled. Nice. So the Gargantua. Interesting. I still think he should have been a playable character. You could have, like, you could have worked it a little bit differently to that, obviously. Like, he would have had some kind of ranged attack. He probably wouldn't have had an attack dummy. I, I think, I think it could have been done. Do you know what? If the devs can't do it, then leave it to Mr. JT, who is the creator of this mod, by the way. As always, there's a link to his channel down below. Make sure you go and check him out. <laughs> But do you know what I have to say my favorite part about this character is? There is an absolute advantage to being this thick. Do you know what I call that? Justice. If you enjoyed this episode of Garden Warfare 2 Mods, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, turn on the notification bell end, and we'll be back on Games That Make Me Rage tomorrow. See you next time.